um, I guess I'm just like making a video today because just to like talk, I guess. Um, you know, my fiance dumped me and I'm like, I think I'm going a little bit insane over it. So I figured maybe I'd just talk to the camera while I do some makeup. Um, today's 420. This time last year, he proposed to me with a diamond ring, got down on one knee with a beautiful ring, and asked me to marry him. And I said yes. And now he's gone. And today I'm going to a wedding for my friend. So, I don't know exactly, I, I mean, I want to have a good time, but, you know, it's only been about four days, and, um, you know, I'm just not really happy. I'm sad, um, because it's kind of my fault, like, there's a lot of stuff I wish I would have done different, um, Mostly, he's really upset about the fact that I do share my kids with my husband, um, ex-husband, I guess. I mean, we're separated, just haven't had enough money to get a divorce yet. Um, but like I said on here before, I was having a hard time with trying to do the shared parenting and stuff, and, um, you know... I think it really bothered him that I included my kid's dad in on some family activities. Um, you know, it's just hard. And you know, my fiance is a gorgeous, gorgeous man. He was good to me, good to my kids. Um, you know, he doesn't deserve to, I guess, deal with the baby daddy drama. But then on the other hand, like, what do you get when you're getting involved with a girl who has five children? And I was very upfront with him and told him that, you know, it's like he knew. I think he knew. And I'm trying to wrap my head around how he could actually... Like, he told me he was in love with my daughter. Like, he was there when I gave birth. He rubbed my belly in the hospital when it was in so much pain. Um, he, he was the first one to ever tell me that my daughter was beautiful and I should be proud of her. And he would kiss her and rock her and hold her. And they had, like, such a special bond and, like... How can he just walk away from that? Like, was I really that bad? I mean, I'm going to admit that I can be a little bit bitchy um, when I'm on my period, but aren't all girls, don't all girls get emotional sometimes? I mean, sometimes I get a little bit sensitive, I guess. I'm just going with blue today for my eyes because... I'm feeling blue. Um, I don't know what I'm going to wear yet. I had a really nice dress picked out, but you know what? This Ohio weather, I tell ya. And now that I'm going to be going, um, I'm just taking my kids with me by myself. I don't know if I can really wear heels because it's probably going to be hard to manage babies you know, wearing high heels, but, you know, he was supposed to go with me. I just don't know. I just don't know. Sounds like some kids are about to bust in the bathroom. They're jumping around. You know, their dad's downstairs, um, packing groceries and stuff. Like, I just don't know. I think that bothered him, too, that... You know, I, I would let my ex, like, help me out, 
but it's not like... I don't know what it's like. Maybe it's fucked up. Maybe maybe it is fucked up. Maybe it's a fucked up situation, but... I mean, fuck. If you're gonna tell me that you love me and you're gonna tell me it's forever, then fucking can we make it through the hard times? Like, you know... <laughs> I swear I have not been able to sleep I haven't been able to eat that's where this comes in handy this is fake up it's by um you know what I don't even know I don't know where it's I got it at Ulta but I don't want to have dark circles under my eyes I mean come on I don't want to give it away that bad but I just don't know what to say anymore, like, I really thought he was the one, and I do not want anyone else. If I could take back some things I said that offended him, I would take them back, like, um, sometimes I'd get mad at him, and I would say he's being an idiot. And, you know, I tell my kids not to use those kinds of words and not to be mean. And maybe I should have taken my own advice. Um, because, you know, but then on the other hand, I think, really, are you getting that offended by the word idiot? I mean, aren't all men idiots? Maybe I'm crazy. He says I'm crazy. I know I was crazy for him. I mean, I think I still am. Because it's really all I can think about. Like, and they say that someone, when someone's in your head, they're supposed to be there. I just am so pissed that he's like not only walking away from me, he's walking away from my awesome sons, he's walking away from my daughter. I mean, like, people are shocked, and I almost wondered if he's going through, like, a midlife crisis or something. I don't know. I mean, whatever it is, it sucks fucking ass for me because now I'm stuck alone with piles of dishes every night and stacks of bills, and, you know, I love my kids, and I'm glad to be with them, but... You know, when the kids go to bed, like, I really enjoyed having time with him. And now I'm just kind of bored, so, you know, I guess TV is the answer to that, but I don't know. So I'm just going to try to put on a good face and... Yeah, and it's like we have matching tattoos, and like now he's just saying like nothing means anything, like I don't mean nothing to him, and he's like, he thinks I'm all about glam, and like he thinks, I don't know, I don't know if he even knows me. I think that maybe at first he thought I was pretty and wanted to fuck or something, but then kind of fell in love with me. I just can't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I, I really hope I wasn't as bad as he might think I was. Or maybe say, I think he's looking at a lot of negative aspects of the relationship. Like, um, what I thought were like normal ups and downs. I mean, no one gets along all the time, right? Unless you're with, like, a complete pushover uh, who just does what you want. And then somebody's not getting what they want. Um, this is, like, the fourth time I've tried to have a relationship with someone and a family. And, you know, at some point... I just, I don't know, I'm trying to like look at myself and say like, okay, 
am I the problem or am I not the problem? Like, so, you know, I ask some of my exes too, and, you know, they say that he'll regret leaving me. And I wonder if, you know, he's going to find a new girl and get into a new relationship, and then it's going to end up the same way. Because eventually, people are going to annoy each other. And then you either get through it and just wait for a happy day, or you just split. And like, well, fuck that. Like, fuck splitting on me. Fuck splitting on my daughter. Like, even my husband is like, he just walked out on baby Anna. And I'm like, yeah, he did. I mean, it's like, I thought he loved her. And I'm starting to wonder if love is even real. Maybe it'll do me some good to go to the wedding today. Thanks for listening, guys.